So the first one is a chain based index number. So what is exactly in chain based index number? In chain based index number, each year is compared with immediately immediately preceding year preceding year Preceding year to stop the well, is this preceding year the chain based index number numbers are obtained. Obtain from fixed base index number. So you are obtaining this chain base index number using the fixed base index number by by multiplying by multiplying the ratio. Just a minute. Fix base. Multiplying by the ratio of current year, current years fixed base index number and immediately. Preceding years fixed base year by hundred. So when you have a fixed base index number, okay, when you have a fixed base index numbers, you can obtain chain based index number by multiplying the ratio of a current fixed base year means what are the current fixed base year and immediately preceding immediately preceding base uh, you can say fixed year by 100 okay so you can understand this means that uh, if i'm writing the in terms of formula it will be Chain index number and base index number is equal to is equal to it's the ratio of the current year. This is the ratio. This upon immediately face immediately this year multiplying by. Hundred. It is something like this. 
let's say something like this. So for example, for example, let's say, um, let's say I have a year, which is draw the vertical line and search uh, one, two, three, four. Let's say this is the year. Okay. We have a fixed base index number with base. So I have a base fixed, okay, with base 2004. And I'm interested to get chain base index. Okay. Let's say I have a year. 2005, 2006, 2007, sorry, 2007, 2008, right? And I have a fixed base, 120, 150, 150, 210, and 240. And I'm interested to get a chain base index. So what is the formula? Current year fixed base. So current year fixed base is this. Divided by immediately preceding years fixed base. So, so there is no preceding year. Preceding means above this. So above this is that that means there is nothing. Right? So we, we will always compare that with 100. So it is 120 divided by 100 multiplying by always 100 so which would be 120 right because this 100 and will get cancelled with remaining with the 100 so whenever we, or you can directly write 120 also no problem because there is a no uh, preceding years there is a no immediately preceding year fixed base similarly you can take this one also so current fixed index number is 150 fixed is this and what about preceding year preceding year is 120 so we divide by 120 multiplying with 100 so you are left with 125 are you getting these answers yes everyone yes sir so 210 divided by 2 uh, 150 multiplying by 100 so you will be get the answer 140 and the similarly the last one 240 divided by 210 multiplying 100. This will again be the answer 144.29. So this is the way one can able to get the chain base index number when we have a fixed base index number. Remember, so when you have fixed base index number with the fixed base 2004. So 2004 may we have assumed that my base is 100 means my index was index number was 100 and the based on that we are finding the chain base index number for the next year you, you can understand also this is the base year which is not far from these years 2004 hai, so 5 6 7 8 but it is not like that uh, suppose I'm computing for 2005 and my base was given like 1990. It is not far. So there is not much difference between these, uh, like the computing one and the base. So just take care of that index. <clears throat> now, one can also compute, one can also convert, you say, or you can compute, you can say, compute fixed base index number fixed base index number from chain base index number okay so how to get that number let's see the next one is fixed base index number fixed base index number so uh, to get the fixed base index number one can able to use that directly formula fixed base index number is equal to
करंट इयर्स करंट इयर्स चेन बेस इंडेक्स नंबर एच चेन बेस इंडेक्स नंबर मल्टीप्लाई बाय मल्टीप्लाई बाय प्रीवियस इयर्स चेन बेस इंडेक्स नंबर whole thing divided by 100 see this do there are two brackets right if there are two brackets that means i am first multiplying these two things and then dividing by 100 okay just understand this two. so what is the fixed base index number how to get the fixed base index number current years chain base index number. so whatever the current year chain base you have multiplying by Previous years chain base index number divided by hundred divided by hundred. So just take care of this uh, formula. So let us again take this example. For example, I am considering the same data. For example, I will consider the same data. So this is my example. And in this case, I am just modifying a little bit. This is my uh, I will be say just a minute. It's hang on. Uh, let's say this is my chain base index. Chain base index. So how to calculate this fixed base index number? Let's see. Oh, search right. This is fixed base index number. How to get the fixed base? According to formula, what is the formula? Current year chain base index number. Current year chain. So current year is this one. Previous years chain base index. What is the previous year? We do not have previous year, right? The previous years again assumed to be the hundred. Okay. So again it is going to be one twenty, one twenty into hundred divided by. 100. Okay. Equals to one twenty. Or you can directly write one twenty. All that's fine. What about next one? Current year chain. So current year chain base index is is one fifty. Multiplying by previous year's chain base index. Previous year is one twenty. Whole thing divided by hundred. Answer is one eight. Are you getting students? It's very simple. It's it's it's. Yes, yeah. yeah, sir. Three fifteen four hundred. I understand. Yeah. Yeah, so it's very simple. The only thing is that it is just convertible, like using chain to base, base to chain. How to get that? So it's very simple. You can just uh, go through that. When we move to the slicing, then it is little bit difficult. I will, I will, uh, we will see, we will see that slicing part maybe the next class. But slicing is little bit uh, difficult because in that scenario you must have a uh, like. A, Different type of index number. That then we will see that. So this is regarding your uh, uh, index. It is maybe you can find from that. I hope you can able to understand this. It's very simple. It's very simple or difficult. Simple, sir. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the next part. Shifting of index number. Last part. Shifting of So, third part is shifting of. Base. So when when do you use the shifting of the base? So as I said, when index numbers are provided for a series of years, with the base years are distance from the past year. If there are too much distance, then Clearly, index number does not give them much about uh, situation, much about the economic system. Okay, 
so in that scenario one can able to use the concepts of shifting of the base so let's see that if if the index numbers for a series index numbers for a series of years constructed on the basis of on the basis of distant past years past years are available are available such index number can be transformed transform to index numbers to index numbers with base years with base years as a recent past years belonging to belonging to that series belonging to that series this is known as this is known as shifting of the base this is known as the shifting of the base we can take one example to understand this one how to get that we can uh, this can be done this can be done by understand this definition dividing an index number dividing an index number for the series by the index number of the year of the year to be used to be used as the new base year and multi multiplying multiplying by 100 this is known as a shifting of the base this can be done dividing an index number for the series by the index number of 
the year to be used as the new year and multiplying by multiplying the result by so whatever result you will get it multiply by 100 so for example let's take example you can understand this using example for example for example if the if the index numbers for the year for the years 2000 and 2006 with the base year with the base year with the base year 1996 so you can understand like 2000 and 2006 with distant 1996 is very distance from that base year are 120 and 210 120 and 210 respectively respectively then then the index number then index number for year 2006 with 2000 as the base year can be calculated calculated as see this way what is that index number index number for 2006 for 2006 with base year 1996 divided by index number Or two thousand year two thousand multiplying by hundred. You can say like this two one zero divided by one twenty multiplying by hundred. So I would be say answer become one seventy five. I don't know whether you understood or not. Let me take one more example. Here.
open and open the some of the examples from that Let us consider this example. Rewrite the following index number compiled by the Labor Bureau for a state by changing their base to 2001 and hence obtain the chain base index number by shifting of base. Are you getting the point? Yes, sir. So let us let us find out this one whether you can do it or not uh, it is just up and down this is first you have to run one to six and then six seven eight Fine. so it is continuous huh like uh, you have to write continue table 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 because you have 1, 2, 10. Okay? And the corresponding index numbers are given to you. So, first, what you have to do, you have to change their base with 2001. We have to change the base with 2001. So, so how to change the base with 2001? Let's see. Put down solution. So first we have a year. Second one we have an index number. And then we have a, we have to rewrite, okay? We have to rewrite index number. So again, it is index number, okay? Again, it is index number. But you have a base, you have a base 2001. That is the important part. See, read problem carefully. Rewrite the following index number with changing the base 2001. Means I'm shifting that. I'm shifting that base by 2001. Getting or changing by that. So we have a 2001 data, 2002 data. 2003 so upai dekho na sir baki Hundred one one zero. This is two thousand four. This 
We have eight and nine. This is two thousand eight. This is two thousand nine. One one eight. One five two. One five two. The last one we have. Two zero one zero, and their index number is one sixty. So, how do you shift the base first of all? That is the question. How do you shift the base? That is the question. So the first index number is one sixty one, right? Like two thousand one, we have index number one sixty one. What is the definition? Let us go to definition. Index number for year 2006 with base year 1996 and index number for the year 2000 with the base 1996 so 2006 with the base year 1996 and 2000 with the base 1996 and we have taken their index number division multiply by 100 so in this situation mein aapka current year ka index number kya hai 161 एंड बेस ईयर का इंडेक्स नंबर क्या है वन सिक्सटी वन एंड मल्टीप्लाई करना है हंड्रेड सो आंसर विल बी वॉट अरे गणी क्योंकि ये सिचुएशन में ये सिचुएशन में भी आपका जो बेस का जो इंडेक्स नंबर है दैट इज वन सिक्सटी वन ओनली बट सपोज सपोज दैट द बेस इज गिवेन फॉर एग्जाम्पल Uh, base is given. Uh, let's say uh, some some specified values are given to you. Base name one twenty, one eighty, like that. So at that time you have to divide by that number. Remember all. But here, here, the base given is one sixty one. Is already up. Or suppose if it is not given. Suppose it is not given. You have to consider hundred. We have to consider hundred. Remember that, like that. Okay. So now, in this situation, you know the base. You know the base is given one sixty one. So one sixty eight divided by one sixty one multiplied by hundred, which will give the answer. Extra char. Get it? Correct. So similarly, one seventy eight. Divided by one sixty one, multiply by again hundred, which will give the answer which is nothing but one one zero, and so on, and so on. So one seventy four divided by one sixty one, multiply by hundred. One not a yes. One sixty-eight divided by one sixty-one multiplied by hundred, which we will again answer as one hundred divided by one sixty-one multiplied by hundred, which is the answer. Well, next one. One one zero divided by one sixty one multiplied by hundred. Again answer. And the last one, one one eight divided by one sixty one multiplied by hundred. 
answer in the last one 152 divided by 161 multiplied by 100 well, that will be the answer so this is the way one can uh, able to get the shifting of the base. And further what they said, further they said, obtain chain base index. So can you obtain chain, chain base index number now? You have fixed base now? You remember fixed base is chain base just now seen the formula, right? Yes, sir. Fixed base is chain base. So 120 divided by fixed base. So fixed base is 100 multiplied by 100. Similarly, current year divided by previous year. So in this case, you can just opt in. So like 100 upon 100 multiplied by 100. So it is 100 only. Then 104 divided by 100 multiplied by 100. So 104 EI. Yeah. Then 100 upon previous year, 104 multiplied by 100 and so on. So one can able to also create one more entries that is called chain base. Chain base. So I think it, it, this is going to be same. This is also going to be the same. One zero four point three four seven eight. This is going to be different, which is one one zero point five five nine divided by one zero four point three four seven eight multiplying by. So it's a current year current chain base index number of current or you can say uh, current fixed base year divided by previous year multiply by 100 right, this is 110 So you can you can according to that you can change that answer. Similarly, we have I'm just computing one more, then you can go ahead with that. 108.0745 divided by previous year 110.559 multiply by hundred and so on. And so on. So you can just compute that all. So there are uh, one, two, three examples are given in the practical sheets. So when we do the practicals, you can have that. Yes, sir. Okay. So anyways, we have a <clears throat> another examples later on. So next class we will do that problem based on that. You can finish this chain with index number. And even I will take the practical today only for this practical at three o'clock. I think uh, Asis are having lecture three o'clock, but sir is uh, not taking. So I'm, I'm taking that three o'clock the lectures and then we will do it the practical and we will finish because this one question, uh, this is the one problem 